and welcome to Master Chan's channel again. I was very happy to hear from you guys that the topic I presented last week wasn't my own experiences. So this is really common things you will confront with when you are applying for a job in Austria. So very important thing is be patient. But this week I'm going to present you something very much related to my former profession, which was a HR consultant. So from an HR consultant's perspective to see the recruiting channel in both Austria and China. First thing I'm gonna talk about is the online recruiting channel, so basically the uh, platform for applying jobs. In China, the online recruiting channel is actually pretty simple because we have three or four or together, I think, main recruiting platforms. So if you want to apply for most of the jobs in on the market, just register it in this about three, four channels, then your application can be reached to, let's say, about 70% of the company which has open positions on the market already. About these three, four platforms, they also have some specialities. So some of them are focusing for uh, graduates, for looking for a job, and some are professions with experiences. So, but there's another shortcoming from this uh, convenience, which is the security of your personal information. I had experienced a lot of uh, random calls from maybe headhunters or some companies which I didn't apply for. In Austria, the situation would be very different because the job application platform here are relatively separate. So it means there are some relatively bigger platforms that you can apply for your jobs, but most of the positions are still posting on their um, company's website. So a lot of companies have their own website, their own application system. Everybody wants to use their own system. So when you're applying online in Austria, be prepared that you have to remember a lot of passwords because for different platforms, they have very different requirements for passwords. Personal information is relatively secure because you have different accounts in different places. And all of these companies would like to keep their reputation as well as their security of information. From this perspective, I would consider China and Austria both have their own shortcomings and advantages. And the second channel is recruiting agencies. In China, our recruiting agency are very active in the market. So if your CV is posted online or some social medias like LinkedIn, a lot of headhunters will approach you. So the recruitment agency market is very competitive in China and a lot of firms are working on a contingency thing, which means if you don't get the position placed, you won't get the fee. In Austria, the headhunters and the HR consultants will post their projects or open positions online and wait until the candidates to apply for it. Headhunting agency or recruiting agency I'm talking about here in both countries are all these agencies which are focusing on more junior positions, not executive level. And in my opinion, being active is very important as a HR consultant. So from this perspective, I would say And about job fairs, to be very honest, I have no experiences in the job fairs in China. You know why? Because the job fairs in China are usually looking like this or this. So I'm very afraid to go to job fairs actually, uh, because you have to take a lot of stuff with you, like this so fix CV review and then you have to go through so many people to reach to the company so basically if you would like to go to job fair in China you need to be trained before you have maybe about two minutes to talk with the HR and in these two minutes you have to present the best of yourself otherwise you will find your CV in the trash can afterwards in Austria I can tell you job fair is the best place I like to go because in the job fairs first, you won't see a lot of people. A 
okay, maybe in the Austrian point of view, there's already a lot of people. But for me, as a Chinese, this is really nothing. At least you can still go through the companies easily. And what is the best thing is, you will get a lot of presents and goodies in this shop there. For example, such things. Or, or such pans. Or chocolates, candies, and a lot of different kinds of things. Um, sunglasses, flip flops, headsets and all of the things I have got before in shop fairs. So, and what is another good thing is, you don't have to take any CV with you, because the main point for most of the companies to go to the shop fairs is not only about recruiting for their opening positions, but also do some promotions for their company. If you are graduates, I strongly recommend it to you to go to the shop fairs in Austria. Except getting in touch with their companies you would like to apply for, and also get some nice things. So for this round, very obvious, the winner is... So, so much for this week. I hope you enjoy my video and please leave the comments down there and subscribe my channel if you like. And if you like my videos, share it with your friends. This next week is Christmas, so I will be lazy for one week. So therefore, we will see each other again next next week. So here, I wish you Merry Christmas. <laughs>